Dominique LaRue. Now, where'd she get that French name? She's Creole. Oh, well, you don't want to mess around with one of them Creole women. Yeah, you fuck around and get a root put on your ass. What's a root? It's like a voodoo curse. All them Creole girls know how to do it. Oh, get out of here. No, man, he's not lying. He's serious. What's the name of that guy who had the voodoo curse put on him? Wallace Walcott. He was messing around with a Creole girl and played her dirty, and she put voodoo on him. She, she, his dick shrunk up the size of a cocktail lini. No, it didn't. That's bullshit. <laughs> you guys gotta get out of the jungle with that witchcraft jazz, man. Just don't like her, Quake. Look, all I want to do is find out if she's still down with Calhoun, all right? And as far as the witchcraft stuff goes, that's y'all's thing. And they can bury your drawers in the yard and you can't leave the house either. Yeah. Bury your drawers in the yard? I should have locked you up and just let you out to work. The day you plan for me is the one you're going to rot in. See, me get in the car. Knocked you up, Everything you've done to me, already done to you. Sarah, Quinn's new book is called Finding Magic, a spiritual memoir. It details their marriage and other defining moments that shaped her beliefs. Sally Quinn joins us now. Welcome back to CBS. Well, thank you. Uh, I love you is I knew about faith. I didn't know about hexes. I didn't know about premonitions. I didn't know about all that other stuff, magic included. Parents were of Scottish descent and uh, Presbyterian Christian background. But how did you learn voodoo and who did you place hexes on? Well, um, I, I, when I'm growing up in the South, and, and we had, um, as I said, the, the Scottish Presbyterian, but also the, the staff in the house um, were black Christians who went to um, Baptist church, but then they would practice voodoo on the side. The way so you my, learned voodoo? So I did learn voodoo. And, Lead us in the direction of righteousness. Advise us that we may become wiser in thy will. Amen. Speak your mind, my friend. It's my boy. My boy's run off and I don't know where. My husband and I have been down on our knees praying for two months. I can't take it anymore. I have to know. He's alive, Hillary. You'll find him in Detroit at St. Michael's Hospital next Tuesday. Don't worry. If you really need to know, then you've got to call my caring, psychic family. If you... I can tell you from my heart that I believe in psychics and the guidance that they provide.
Hey, Shalom, I'm Akim, all praises to Yahweh by Shimmy Shai, double honor to the apostles, elders, and all you brothers out there pushing the name of Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. Jump into a quick lesson, real quick. Um, Eve, the serpent that Eve's bayou, which the bayou re represents a, a marshy flow through a river or lake, which we know represents knowledge. In the knowledge of our woman, of our nation, they use a lot of witchcraft. The men use it. That's why they're into gangs, selling drugs. And through the spirit of the Lord, we, we deal with that. But right now, we're going to deal with Eve, which is the so-called black woman, Latino woman, Native American woman, all the 12 tribes, which who they come from. We're in the last days, and you know Satan's number one weapon is the woman. Now the women who believe this don't pertain to you. But for the women out there that's satanic and gonna come at the service of the Lord, the Lord's gonna deal with you. If you got your man back, it doesn't pertain to you. But if you're a witch or a demon and try to take you take your man away from this knowledge, or you using sorcery, witchcraft, bruja, or whatever. The women of our nation is the ultimate witch that has surpassed the wickedness of all the women of the world. There's a, a demon named Sally Quinn, Edomite chick who got a book on magic. She says she learned it from the Negro woman of blacks in the Baptist church that practiced voodoo on the side. And that's something that our nation has engulfed itself in heavy. That's one of the reasons why the Lord is going to burn this place by thermonuclear destruction because the scriptures say suffer not a witch to live. It said anyone that deals with divination, wizards, witches, the Lord said they're supposed to be stoned or burned to death. And that's heavily pushed in America. That's why you can walk down the street and see the psychic um, shops, palm reading. At one point you had Dion Warwick the Psychic Friends Network, then Miss Chloe, also called Negro Women. Then you had a lot of Latinos listen to a faggot named Walter Mercado and the Psychic Network. That's part of the wickedness. That's part of the, 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 the foulness of our nation that what they have driven into or dove into witchcraft, which once again, that goes back to the serpent and Eve when he told her to eat of the tree of good and evil that she shall become wise. It says that when she ate that fruit, her eyes enjoyed it, her spiritual eyes, and it made her wise. How did it make her wise? Our women of our nation, they use that divination or magic. They'll try to get your cell phone code, break into a man's cell phone. They'll use it to track you or put bewitch you to put make you fall in love. Or if you leave them, they'll use it to try to put a hex or curse. Now see, if you're a servant of the Lord, that doesn't work on us. The scriptures say, Numbers 23 and 23, there's no enchantment upon Jacob. But, and when you come into this knowledge, the scriptures say, prepare thyself for temptation because you're in the Job um, lot, so to speak. Where Satan, the, the bet is, if you bring hell upon the servants of the Lord, that, that you'll turn from the Lord and curse them. So Satan's going to come at you with all hell. This is be, this is a whole different ju jurisdiction um, beyond these so-called women or them putting hexes or spells, but they do try it. 
But we go through tribulation, we deal with them demons because that's part of the trials of serving the Lord. It's part of it. The Lord won't throw with Satan itself and us being the servants, with the servants not greater than the master, that those spirits or them demons are going to try and mess with us. And that's part of the initiation. But back to the witchcraft. That's the, None of you low-level witches or masons or Chaldeans can deal with that. But we don't have to worry about we don't worry about you and your yes. We fear the Lord. Now, the people who might not think it's true or whatsoever, when you read Colossians 3, 1 and 16, the Lord said that the Lord made all dominions, kingdom, whether they be visible or invisible. There is a spiritual world. There are spirits out there that a lot of the women of our nation has given heavily into. And when you read the law, that's why the scripture said things written four times was up for our learning. The Lord commanded us not to do such things because that's what, when you go back to Nimrod, hell, even before that, serpent in Eve, and that knowledge that the serpent gave Eve or told her to eat of was witchcraft because first and foremost, her even listening or talking to him because that was an actual man who had the spirit of a serpent. It wasn't no damn snake talking. That's why the Lord calls the so-called white man, uh, uh, that old dragon, that serpent, that's why when you go into the um, KKK, their top leaders are called what? The Grand Wizard or the Grand Dragon. Just a quick tidbit. But that thing that they gave, um, they gave Eve or that Bayou or that knowledge was witchcraft. The opposite of what the Lord told us to do. When you read about Satanism or witchcraft, it's everything's opposite of what the Lord told us to do. That's why this first Samuel 15 and 23 said rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So if you do the opposite of what the Lord told you, that's witchcraft. This is John 7 and 38. It said, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now see, this knowledge is considered as water. When you read um, Proverbs 20 and 5, it said the heart and counsel of a man as deep as the waters, who shall draw it out? Because the knowledge, this knowledge represents in milk, honey, water, meat. Those are metaphoric terms, basically representing the knowledge. So when I talk about Eve's bayou, why the spirit God is going into Eve or their bayou is witchcraft, that murky or, or marshy water or river or lake, is the knowledge, is the opposite of this, is the knowledge of witchcraft that our women have taken on. That's why they go to astrologers. That's why they have, um, deal with tarot cards. That's why they were calling those psychic hot work hotlines was a majority of women. And they still do it. Even though they go to the Baptist church or the Catholic church or Jehovah Witness, but on the side, they still deal with the divination or witchcraft, which is a sin according to the Bible. But Eve's bayou, or her knowledge, is on the left-hand side. When you read the scriptures, um, Proverbs 5 and 15, it says, drink out of thy own cistern. What's the cistern that it's talking about? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Heavenly Father, His law, statute, and commandments. Those are the things that make you wise. And it said, let thy cities and thy things flow with that water, that river. When you read Psalms 46 and 4, and then if you don't, the Lord said in um, Jeremiah 2, start at 11. If you don't drink of this knowledge, he said, the Lord says, like drinking out of broken systems. This is Jeremiah 2 and 11. It said, have the nation changed their gods, which are no gods, but my people have changed their glory for which they have not profit. So what glory or what do our people have changed? And the, and while the spirit got us getting on the women, because they're the ones who go to them damn soothsayers or, or, or wizards or, or astrologers. And a lot of men follow their women to please them. Oh, they, I go with you. The Lord said, um, how, how did we change our God to that which is no profit? Because once you drink or deal with all that stuff, the scriptures say the wages of sin is... Is death. And the Lord said, you ain't supposed to dip your mess with any of that crap, man. But our people are doing it. Now see, in the world, you think of a witch and you think of the green face, the long cap of Wizard of Oz. No, but the, the real witch 
that come in with weave, contacts, and some pumps. He had a show called Coney and the Barbarian. He was traveling through and a witch, she knew who he was, knew his destiny was to be king. She called him into her lair. Soon as they started having sex, she popped up into that demon. He threw her ass into that fire. And that's the proper judgment of a witch. Another thing is a witch, you'll see some of flamboyant, like you got them crackers into that wicker, dressed into that, um, that damn um, gothic look, that all dark, that black, looking like um, that movie The Craft. Some of them come like that, but some of them look like regular people. You have no idea. And through the spirit of the Lord, think the Lord, even you know, out in the world, hung out with all different tribes. Ephraimites, so-called Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Jamaicans, Haitians, and they all divvy into that. Some of them go back and forth to the different countries and put spells on each other. Damn their voodoo wars. The Haitians call it voodoo. The Jamaicans call it roots. The down, the Negroes in the South call it, uh, I mean, call it roots. The, uh, the Jamaicans call it obia. And when you look up obia, it means witchcraft. That's where you get, um, that's, that shows Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the force be with you, which the force is an old saying of witchcraft, which they had been indoctrinating even us as children to go along with witchcraft. That's what America is all about. That's what the serpent gave us Eve in the garden and her daughters um, diving it to this day. Back to the scriptures. Say Jeremiah 2 and 11, have a nation changed their gods, which are not gods, but my people, and what's their gods? When you go into look at any of them, them brujas and witches, you'll see them with the idols of Virgin Mary, the cross, the, the crown and the cross. Go back to the Knight Templars with Baphomet. You'll see them in there with um, all kind of paganistic idols that go back to witchcraft. And you'll see the same idols in the so-called churches that you'll see in a witchcraft or a coven because it's the same thing. Esau and the other nations have turned this whole world into a satanic temple, the TVs, right? And our people dive right into it. That's why the scriptures say, have a nation change their gods, which are, are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Heavy into witchcraft, astrology, drug dealing, homosexuality, adultery. And those are the things that, that you do to please Satan when you read Jeremiah 7 and 9. The Lord said, if they're gonna commit adultery, Murders, false swearing, the burn incense unto Baal. That's why scriptures say, knowledge, wisdom, understanding shall be the stability at times. It says, be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, saith the Lord. And the Lord's going to burn America in different parts of this world for all the witchcraft. So be very afraid. And what we're out there doing, see, we deal with everything from 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 who's the, the, the Greek and the Jew, which are Israelites, who the Esau is, deal with the economy, but and we deal with gangs, drug dealing, and now we're dealing through the spirit of the Lord with you witches, which a lot of our women have dove heavily into. And that's Satan number one guys when you read second um, when you read Ezra's the fourth chapter. Said the second thing strongest to the truth is the woman. And our women had dove into witchcraft so they could get that position of power. Right? It says, Be as, it says, for my people have committed two evils. What's the number one commitment? Thou shalt not have any other God before me. The Lord thy power is a jealous power. Deuteronomy 4 and 24. Exodus 23 and 13. The Lord, the um, power, name is jealous. It says, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. Which the scriptures say, Proverbs 5 and 15, drink of thy own cistern or thy own waters or the, the wife of thy youth, which is metaphoric for meaning thy mother or thy nation, which you're joined together spiritually. That's why in 1 Corinthians 5 and 16, uh, uh, 15 through 16, it says, if you're joined with any other, any other philosophy, um, um, that's adultery or going to horn. We're supposed to be joint with the Lord. When you read 2 Corinthians 11 and 3, it said, Our job is to make sure that the men are a chaste virgin, which is metaphoric, meaning undefiled with any other philosophy. No witchcraft. Now, when you look at witchcraft, it means evil spirit. Anything besides the truth of this Bible 
and not dealing with the Heavenly Father and His Son, who we, who you call God and Jesus, which the real name is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. They're the only ones that's good. When they had told the, our Lord, oh, good man, he said there's only one but good. But when you read John the fifth chapter, he said, honor the Son is the honor of the Father. Now we can say there's two good. That's good. If you deal with any other knowledge or any other power besides those, you are a witch. Whether Jehovah Witness, Baptist, Pentecostal, like we, through the Spirit of the Lord, we've been telling you from day one that the Lord doesn't deal with religion. He deals with the nation of Israel, which represents so-called Negroes, West Indians, Native Americans, and so-called Latinos, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. When Moses took us, the Lord had Moses deliver us out of Egypt, we came out as a nation, and the Lord gave us laws, statutes, and commandments, not no damn religion. All these religions are all witchcraft with different inventions. Scripture said the Lord has made man upright, but he has sought out many inventions. The inventions are different philosophies. That's why the Lord said, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me to fall in the living waters and hew them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. What's the cisterns? The different philosophies. All that witchcraft. Which our people are engulfed in. America is known as the great whore. Whore, the whore, uh, um, the great whore, because when you read, go, come through Ellis Island, you have the Statue of Liberty, which goes back to a Roman goddess, a libertist, which was sexually promiscuous or represent um, uh, um, freedom to serve any doctrine of witchcraft. That's what the Statue of Liberty stands for. That's what the Torch of Prometheus stands for. That is America. That's the whore that's talking about in Revelations. And the Lord said you're going to burn it when you read Revelations 19 and 2. And the scripture said prove all things. Oh, that was that's the Old Testament. No, that's the New Testament where the Lord said, the Lord, you had certain witches or warlocks in the book of Acts. And the Lord took their powers and brought them down. And that's a future representation of Micah 5 and 12. The Lord said, and that day he shall cut off all witchcraft. Because you got a lot of people say, I don't believe in that. There's no such thing as witches. Who oh, give a hell? The scriptures are true. There's witches every day. When you got somebody selling crack and they smoke, you got the baddest chick sucking on a nigga like Biggie Smalls. That's witchcraft. Or selling their behind. Or you have men out there that they have robbing and stealing for them little devils in that bow. Or in that package sniffing heroin. Smoking weed or whatsoever. A drug dealer is a witch. But where do they get that from? The woman. Men have not majorly raised the so-called Negro, Native American, Latino families since the 1960s or 70s. And now look at the abundance of wickedness. The scripture said that thy daughter, you should not sell thy daughter as prostitution or into whoredom because it will bring great wickedness in the land. See, the men are important, but our women are important as well because they represent us. The Lord said if a priest, we, we're a nation of kings and priests. They said if our daughter, being a, being a priest, if your daughter is a whore, she's supposed to be burnt with fire. Now look at our women. Look at them. The Cardi B's, the the City Girls, the, um, who is it, uh, uh, Mickey Minaj, Rihanna's, Beyonce. Now whether you think witchcraft and all that stuff's not true, Mention all those people. Look at look at um look at Beyonce. She had a drummer that sued her for saying that she was practicing extreme witchcraft. And I believe the drummer was with her for about seven years. You got Tom Brady. Now see, we got a Negro woman, but the so-called white woman and all the other women follow after the so-called black or Latino, whether it's the men, women, or whatsoever. We're the salt of the earth. Right? You had a woman named Sally Quinn, CBS reporter, once again, who broke that book uh, about magic. And this is right on CBS. This is on the news network, whether it's since you, if you think we're just pulling this out of the hat. CBS had it where Sally Quinn said she learned how to do witchcraft and voodoo from black women or black people from the Baptist church that practice voodoo on the side. This stuff is real, man. They bewitched the whole nation and our people. This is um Deuteronomy 18. Let's see. Eighteen and um start at ten, the Lord said. This stuff is real out here. It's crazy out here. 
That's Eve's Bayou. That's their knowledge. This is how they get over on um, men. Right? This is um, Deuteronomy 18 and 10. It says, There should not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that use divination, or observer of times, or enchanter, or a witch. Now I said you don't supposed to be you don't supposed to have any of your children pass through the fire. But one of the main reasons why us, the so-called Negroes, got taken over in Western Coast of Africa or from or, or Gad Rubin or any other tribes over here in North or South America, they was heavy into witchcraft, but they got from Egypt. Pharaoh and his his magis or magicians was heavy into witchcraft. While we was in captivity over there. They picked up all that wickedness. That's why the Lord said when we was to come into the land of Jerusalem or, or Canaan, that he kept, He put out those Africans that did odious works of witchcraft. They were using divination, which means um, seeking to the future. That's why you had that movie, um, Ease Bayou, once again. You had the um, Debbie Git, um what's her name? The old black chick, Debbie Morgan or whatever. She played in Charm. She played in, she, she used to be in those stories. She was married to the guy named Rock that had a sitcom. But anyway, she's always playing a witch. And she played the witch in the movie um, Ease Bayou. And the church woman would go in there and she looked into her future. That's divination. And then to show you how funny and ironic that is, there's another witch in the movie that didn't like her because she couldn't see her own future. Every man she touched, they died. And she told her to use a cursed witch. That's why the Esau being the ultimate warlock of witch, and they know our history, they named that movie Ease by you, and there's nothing but witchcraft in there. Why? Because they know who we are. We, they know the, the original woman, the original man is Adam and Eve, the so-called Negro man is Negro woman, Latino or whatever, that were their offsprings. So that's why they put it out there. Right? It says... Thou shalt not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter to pass through the fire, that use divination, or observer at time, astrology, or enchanter, or a witch. Put love spell on you, put a curse on you. You have Balaam and Balak. And like he told you, like once again, Aki, as long as you do it right by the Heavenly Father, by Hashem you ain't got to worry about a damn thing. That's why Balaam and Balak, he, he told him, he said, Look, I can't go beyond what the Lord allows. That's why the scripture says, fear the Lord, don't fear what man can do. Because guess what? When you read James 2 and 19, it says that the name of the Lord, or even the devils know that there's only, if you believe in that there's only one power or one God, that the devils also believe in that, and they tremble at his name. So you don't, you don't got to worry about nothing happening to you unless the Lord sanctions it. Anything we go through is a test from the Heavenly Father. All them witches, wizards, you got the Illuminati, got Chaldeans or, or sorcerers trying to put curses on us day and night. The scripture said there's no enchantment upon Jacob. And we're covered through the blood and spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. There's not a damn thing they could do. Just like when Moses came up and speaking of the Magi during the Egyptians, they threw down their two staves that turned into snakes. Moses threw down his one staff and turned into a giant snake in the name of the Lord and ate their snakes. That's the time that we're coming in. We'll continue on. It says, or a charmer or a consultant with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer. What's a charmer? You got different people that bless certain objects, like the dollar bill. That, that's, a, that's a charm. You got some people who have, um, a lot of women who like to wear the um, infinity. That goes back to witchcraft. It looks like the figure eight. It's two snakes entwining each other. Represent infinity of times or a rebirth or regeneration, which the witches are heavy into that. A lot of jewelry, a lot of stuff that people wear don't even realize they have a cult um, beginnings or a cult background. That's a charm, right? That's why you mean go look, it's so called Valentine's Day coming up, they say get a pendant or a charm. They say, oh, consult her with familiar spirits. I, w I miss my grandmother. I want to see how she's doing. And that and the scripture said when you die, the spirit goes back to the heavenly father and the body goes back down to the ground when you read Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. So those familiar spirits, they'll come into you as your grandmother or a loved one or your mother, father or brother or sibling or a child that you lost. 
and it comes to you familiar, and when you open up that door, you get all kind of crazy things happening. Stuff moving around the house. Um, uh, uh, TV's going on and off. When you mess with them damn Ouija boards, that's all wickedness, witchcraft. And through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that's why all this stuff is going to be burnt up. America is laid out in the witchcraft pattern. When you look at the Washington, um, the White House and everything, that's laid out in witchcraft. You got the Egyptian obelisk that's within the District of Columbia, the inner city of London, um, 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 the Vatican. Those are uh, uh, ley lines of demonic symbols that pull in or bring demonic activity. That's why the cop badges have a, a lot of satanic or masonic emblems. The fire department have the Knights of Malta cross on there. Because this whole world was always given to Satan and Esau being the witch or warlock of all warlocks, they put all those symbols around. It says, or a wizard. That's why you go to Washington. What's the name of their basketball team? Washington Wizards. But once again, look at the KKK or um, their, their titles, either Grand Wizard or Grand Dragon. It said, or Necromancer. That's the ones who deal with dead bodies or, or, or the dead. And, and they, one of the rituals they have, uh, satanic rituals and necromancers, uh, they like to have sex with dead bodies. A lot of them talk about they have sex with a fallen angel. That's a dead body. Or some type of sick thing. That the senators, the witch, the, 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 whether male or female, but once again, ease by you, our women have given into that. For all these things are, are abomination to the Lord because of these abomination, the Lord that power drove them out from before thee. And that's why America is going to be driven out with them thermonuclear missiles. The Lord said, Exodus 22 and 18, thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. I also tell you that in Leviticus 20 and 6 and 7. We get that because scripture said prove all things, right? So if you don't know, now you know. They like to go to divinate, um, um, Matt, what's the name? Um, Cleo. Uh, you had Dion Warwick. A lot of them are dead, but our women always did into that. You had Marla Gibbs, that used to be a star from the Jeffersons. You had um, the mother from the Good Times, she was uh, on there. You had Sylvester Stallone, which a lot of them are, 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 are Italian Israel niggers. They all into it. They're Italian, Irish. They all have their different names of witchcraft the Celts or the Celtics. Um, then so-called Native Americans call them the shamans. And when you look up the word shaman, it means one who uses, who deal with good or evil spirits to, to, to go into divination or to heal. Only how you get healed through the, through the right way is through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Now them witches will use the herbs and everything on the left-hand side. When you go into a lot of those nature stores and those health stores, a lot of people that's in there that's dealing with that, a lot of them are into witchcraft. I mean, you got the regular people that are just going in, something they read off the, off the internet, but you have a lot of warlocks and witches. They do deal with herbs. When you have that show called Charm, you'll see them going to the health food store and different potions they put together. And our women do that. This is Leviticus 20 and... Um, 26. It says, And you shall be holy unto me. Find the Lord am holy, and ye have served... And I have severed you from my from other people that you should be mine. Now see all the other people, the, the so-called white man and Chinese, Japanese, they can do all that witchcraft. That's given unto them. Idols and everything. When you read Psalms 96 and 5, it said the idols was given unto the other nation. But us, we're supposed to be separate and holy. When you read Deuteronomy, I believe either the 22nd or 18th chapter, it said we're supposed to be perfect like the Heavenly Father is perfect. Meaning no witchcraft, not be a whore, right? That's why you read Deuteronomy 23 and 17 and says, out of, I, there shall be no whore the daughters of Israel, nor no Sodomites of the sons of Israel. We'll go through that next. It says, and ye shall be holy unto me, for I am the Lord am holy, and have severed you from other people that ye should be mine. A man also, a woman that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. And shall stone them with stones, their blood shall be upon them. So who's the people that deal with familiar spirit? Like I said, once again, the Haitians call it voodoo. The Native Americans, the shamans. The, 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 the Negro blacks roots. The Spanish Santeria, a bruja, which means witch. 
They deal with um, the Mexicans. They deal with Santa Muerto. And they walk around with emblems and all that stuff on. Have you not read that the Lord that power is a jealous power? And if you haven't, that's why the sermons and the prophets out there on the street corners on YouTube condemning this world. The Lord is angry. He doesn't like adulterers. He doesn't like murderers. He don't like witches, which is all one and the same. When you read Mark 7 and 21, it said, What proceeded out of the hearts of men? Witchcraft, adulteries, envies. That's why when you read, I believe Isaiah 55 and 7, it says, As the heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours. Now you got a chance to repent if you're part of the elect. But if you're not part of the elect, you're just being condemned. Like in John the 15th chapter, the Lord said, if he, if he has not come, you will have a cloak for your maliciousness. But we come out through the spirit of the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, teaching you the truth. It says, a man, it said, a man also, a woman that have familiar has a familiar spirit or that a wizard shall surely be put to death. So you women out there going to see the the, the, uh, the psyche. Is my man cheating on me? Yes, bitch. <laughs> if you get another piece of pie that doesn't belong to another one, that's not adultery. Can I get my man's um, cell phone so I can break through it? Because you know they all covet to break through through a man's cell phone they can go through it. They'll, you wonder how they break through it. Or how they got that woman's intuition that goes back to Eve's body. Their knowledge of that river or, or lake or knowledge of that water that they get is from the left hand side of Satan. Now you get that, what's that, Deuteronomy 23 and 17? Because when you read, now going through this witchcraft and this whoredom and divination and everything else, and you got our people as heavy into that. You got people that leave this town, go to Haiti. The Dominican Republic, you try to put curses on people to, to get a job, to get finances, to make somebody fall in love with them, or they got their heartbreak to put a hex on them. This is what goes on amongst our people. The woman, mainly the woman of our people. You'll see them burning different incense. When you read Jeremiah 44, they would burn an incense into the queen of heaven. You'll see them sometimes they'll put um, an egg under their bed to see if there's uh, if it, they said if it's fully cooked, I, and this is stories I heard, never did none of that shit, never would, because I know that there's a, a, a higher power, but put an egg under their bed to see if it's fully cooked. Heard about certain people that did certain rituals and go see other witch doctors to see if some a, a girl put a curse on them or if a man put a curse on them to make them fall in love or if they was envious of that woman to put them to death while they having bad luck. These are the things why we went into captivity. The Lord said in Jeremiah 79, they had burned incense unto Baal. The Lord, and, and you'll see even in the hood, you go there, there'll be a damn shrine in the projects. And I've seen it with the Latin tribes. Have a whole damn candles and, and beads. And here it is, it's, it's 10 people in a two bedroom apartment, but they got one section blocked off for a damn idol, an altar unto Satan. They got to see their auntie. Put, I, I seen it with niggas that knew sell drugs, Latino, Negroes, West Indians, so-called, to go see their auntie to see if they could, the judge, they could persuade the judge to give them a lighter sentence. Did certain rituals or killed people or poisoned people. And this is stuff that I heard as a young man. Her mom, grandmothers and all them talking about that. Some of them over there talking about they close the door and they see shadows in the mirror or use rainwater. I heard all that shit. So you know it's true. It's something they don't like to talk about, but it's true. And we know it's true because it's in the scriptures. That's why it's known as the holy book. Try to put a spell on Called truth. The Lord is going to destroy Majority of our people that's all into that wickedness or that madness. Let's go back into this though. It says Deuteronomy 23, 23 and 17. It says, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Now, when you look up this in the Hebrew, it says Kaddish or Kaddash means holy. Because it, they have the thing called sexual magic. And that's why you see, going back to Eve. The so-called Negro Latino woman, you'll see Cardi B's, the Beyonce's, the uh, um, Rihanna's, 
got these girls twerking and dressing around little whores going back to the queen of heaven or Satan. That's another doctrine of Satanism. There's many layers of it, but it's all Satanism. When you look up Satan in the Hebrew, it means uh, against all good. Shatan. He'll come in many forms as a woman, as an animal, as a man, as a sun, a star. Those are all the different wiles of the devil. And scripture said we fight not, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities about uh, 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 darkness in high places. This devil, well, once again, the so-called white man, the Chinese and the other nations has pushed out all this madness. That's why the daughters are, we're supposed to be a holy people. You're supposed to be wrapped up head to toe, like how you see them Arabic women with the veil on, the hat covered. You ain't seen your hair, you ain't seen nothing. The woman wasn't even there look you in the eye. She was dainty and humble, dressed moderate. Now, like the scripture say in Timothy's 5, I believe 14 and 15, it said that he'd rather that the young women um, get married, tend to the house. But in the 15th verse, uh, Timothy 5 and 15, it said many of them have gone after Satan. That's why our daughters are, are twerking. That's why they're having sex at seven, eight years old. That's why they're getting tattoos or piercings all over their, their vagina or uh, and their nose, door knockers. That's whore or harlot apparel, which is pushed through your media, your TV, which are different altars of Satan. If you're not watching or listening to anything educational or hearing the word of the Heavenly Father, it's all satanic. Back again, Deuteronomy 23 and 17 said, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. And if you was a whore, going back into uh, Leviticus 21 and 9, 9, it said, If you was a whore, daughter of a priest, you shall be burnt with fire. That's why, again, Revelation 19 and 2 said, The judgment of America, which is that great whore that sitteth on many waters, America. That's why you got the Statue of Liberty, which represents sexual promiscuous of freedom. Do what thou wilt. You, that's why it's going to get burnt. That's the proper judgment. The Heavenly Father never liked whores and never will. When you go through the history of Tamar, which was uh, married to one of the patriarch's sons of Judah, she di he died and a brother was supposed to be given unto her to raise up a son in his name. And that was in our law. If you if a, a woman became a widow and she didn't have a son unto that man's name, the brother married her and had a son. And Tamar never got the brother, so she played the whore or harlot. And Judah, the patriarch, said, where is she? They said, look, she's pregnant. He said, oh, yeah, she played the harlot? Let's get her and burn her. You're going to burn her in that abomination if it was from another man's or another lineage. And come to find out, Judah slept with her because she played the harlot so she could have that seed raised unto her husband, and she didn't play the harlot. And he repented. But the proof, the thing is, is she was a whore that she was to be burnt. Now you can look at our women now. You got the Cardi B's and city girls twerk, twerk, twerk. And they so they're wicked. The scripture say the deeds of my people has surpassed the wicked. You had a white woman on ABC say, oh my God, look at them. And the white woman's a devil. The white woman's the nastiest damn thing. And our women surpassed them. White woman sit there talking about she's saving her, 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 her vagina for marriage, but she'll give fellatio or blowjobs or take it in the rectum and talk about she's saving herself to be holy. Now, them being the devil and as follows that is, they they, they are sucked and fucked the whole neighborhood, Betty Blowjob and, 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 and Maggie McAss, and they talk about they saving their vagina when every man um, busts every hole except that foul things. They said that the, the woman of our nation has surpassed them. What the hell are they doing? They were sitting there watching them. I watched the damn video. They, they sitting there butt damn near naked, man. What an embarrassment. What fathers, husbands, brothers. You don't want to see your mother walking around being a whore. That's why the Lord said you're not supposed to send your daughters out into prostitution. It will make all wickedness in the land. A man, you see your mother sleeping with different men or dressed like a slut, as we do. It brings the moral or bring the, the moral uh, uh, fiber down as a nation. That's why you got all kind of diseases or these women don't know who children, who's really the father. You see, they come out, find out a secret. In the same town, a woman, a, 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 one girl or one guy gets together 15, 20 years later and the child's retarded because kind of find out that they're brother and sister because this woman was a whore. Hey, the zeal of the Lord eats us up. This is the wickedness.
If your daughter walks out with her brassiere, her, 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 her cleavage showing, the white man will tell you you can't do nothing. Let her be. That's why this devil has to be pulled down. And he's, he's going to slavery, and you women are going back in slavery. And once again, you sisters out there that whores and sluts, you have nothing to worry about. It'll be in second, it's nat nature to you to be submissive, dress appropriately, shut your damn mouth. But anything besides that is all witchcraft going back to ease by you. It says, therefore, shall no, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, right? And only reason, once again, another tidbit too. The reason why our women are whores, when you read Amos 7 and 17, um, Hosea the fourth chapter, the Lord says, shall not punish our daughters or our wives for committing adultery because we went a whoring after other gods. When you read 1 Chronicles 5 and 25, I think Psalms 169 and 9 or 109, 69, you know, these are the reasons, but when you read Chronicles 5, 25 and, um, and Jeremiah, Isaiah, those are the reasons why our women went horned because we went horned. But now that we're getting back together, when you read Psalms 1, 10 and 3, it says, in the day of thy power, thy people should be willing. What are they going to be willing to do? Get their ass back in order. Isaiah 4 and 1. But all this ease by and all this wickedness, once again, it goes to the, the serpent, the so-called white man, our women taking that, that philosophy or read, eating that, that tree of good and evil and it, it, uh, evil, how to become witches, how to supplant their man to have them going off so they can be in power. As far as it is, that's the reality of it. Now we got work to do, Akin. If you got a woman that's there for you and got your back, she hey, she's gonna get blessed and, and the Lord's gonna have mercy on her. If you got a bitch out there that's trying to keep hold you back and giving you hell and coming in with that witchcraft, you better go to my church. You better do what I say. Tell that bitch to go fuck herself. We got we're in the last days. Judgment is coming. Now she's a woman that got your back. Hey, so be it, sister. Keep on rocking with your man. The Lord's gonna have mercy on you. Scripture say women shall be be saved in childbearing. Another damn thing that these women do pass their children through the fire and all this wickedness is abortions. Deuteronomy 23 and 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Now a lot of reasons why these little boys are walking around, that's go back into one of the sexual magnets that sodomy being a fact getting popped in the rectum. That's why they got the black son in the Catholic Church. IHS represents the shit God. But one of the reasons why uh, boys are walking around there sashaying all over the place is because the women are raising them. Children emulate what they see. Scripture is saying, was it Proverbs 22 and 6, train the child while he's young in the way he should go and that's the way he shall be. See, and with our women having rule, before the woman was in the house, she was the first nurturer or teacher of the children. She was the extension of the father or the husband. Now these women that have to work two or three jobs because they quote unquote single moms and they're being pushed in that, the children are being pushed in that school where they're teaching Billy has two moms, Megan has two dads and pushing that homosexual agenda on them. Now the little boys are sodomites and the women come home also oh, right it's just a phase buying them um, uh, um, little, little, my little pony or uh, uh, put little braids in their hair or have them colorful like that tick tick. To Shaki 6 9 whatever the hell that damn faggot is. Then they listen to that rap music and them boys wearing mercies. All this stuff is going to be broke down through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All of it. This is going to be a bad dream. Keep on talking about Revelation 19 and 2. Let's get it. All this stuff is about to come to an end. This is the gospel. This is the good news. Well, all this filth is going to be burned away. The women are going to be women. They're going to cook clean and shut the hell up. They're going to dress appropriately. No more tight pants seeing their curves or their shape. The little boys are going to be little faggots. They're going to be men. That's the gospel. Now, this is Revelation 19 and 2. It said, For true and righteous are his judgments. Whose judgment? The Heavenly Father's judgment. What are true? He's going to burn this place by nuclear fire. When you read 2 Peter, the third chapter, it said, or Malachi the fourth chapter said, the day of the Lord shall burn up as an uh, uh, oven. Then when you read 2 Peter's third chapter, it said, the earth shall pass away with a great noise. And us, 
we hoping for a new earth, a new heaven, would dwell in righteousness. Right? It said, for true and righteous are his judgments, for he hath judged the great whore. What's the judgment of a whore? Leviticus 21 and 9. To be burnt with fire. Why is America known as the whore? You could worship any other guy here, which is witchcraft. That's why the Lord always said we want a horn. We want a horn. If you worship any other God, that's called spiritual adultery. You got physical adultery and, and, and spiritual adultery. Going back again to 1 Corinthians 5 and 16, uh, 5, 15 and 16, we're supposed to be joined together with Yahweh Shai. And if you join with any other God or any other power, you, you're known as a harlot. So for he had judged the great whore, which he did. For the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and have avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. Now how did they corrupt the whole earth with their fornication? That philosophy. Rap music is pushed throughout the whole world. I'm Cardi B's, them, them damn uh, uh, Takashi sits now. I hope they throw that nigga under the federal prison and, and, and cut his hair, you faggot. Um, your Nicki Minaj, your, 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 um, City girls, which nowadays you got Ezekiel 16 and 44 said, as is the mother, so is the daughter. So if your mother's a whore, your daughter's going to be a whore. Going back to Deuteronomy 23 and 17. The women are supposed to emulate, little girls emulate what they see their mother doing. You got different guys running in and out. You got tattoos. You got nasty foul mouth. 99.9% 90, .9 your daughter is going to be like that. And that's how you, that fornication or that corruptness has went throughout the whole world. Slut walk. You had that little blunt, that bitch. What's the name? Uh, 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 um, forgot that. Amber Rose. Talking about, and then Cardi B talking about when the Edomite woman told her, said, look, y'all in Sapatch, y'all became the biggest sluts. She said, look, it's all right if I can wear what I want to wear and not wear what I want to wear and not be molested or raped. No, when you wear harlot apparel, it's a certain way you're supposed to present yourself. You're supposed to dress like a whore or act like a whore. Even that stupid movie called Clueless, she was trying to get the attention of a boy. She said, look, let me show more skin because when men see skin, it makes them think of sex. So yeah, you're supposed to be covered. Like the like the woman, um, like the, the Middle Eastern women before they drunk of that wine or that fornication, or, or even, um, and you got out like the woman from coming to America, jump on one leg and be quiet and humble. Anything besides that is witchcraft. That E Bayou, that river, that lake that y'all have sucked, that y'all have, um, uh, um, um, drunk of, that witchcraft, the Lord's about to dry it up with that fire. First, he's gonna bring these race wars and, and have this devil, and tell you, is it Isaiah 32 and 9? Rise up, you women at our ease. For the vintage shall fell, your food stamps, your welfare, all that's going to be sucked up. No more witchcraft for you. No more sucking up to your daddy, the white man, that serpent of the garden. He's about to cut you off your inheritance of, 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 of soothsaying, being a soothsayer or, uh, 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 or into divination. He's about to cut you off. According to Micah 5 and 12, the Lord said, in that day shall cut off all witchcraft. And when he cut off all that witchcraft, he's going to bring in that judgment. Joel 3 and 13 said, the wickedness is at a full, it's time to stick in the sickle. According to Revelation 18 and 5, that their sins have reached unto heaven. The Lord said he changed not. Malachi 3 and 6. Same yesterday, same today, same tomorrow. As you read in Deuteronomy the 18th chapter, Leviticus the 20th chapter, the Lord or Exodus 22, the Lord says, suffer not a wish to live. So Eve's body is about to be dried up with that nuclear fire and it's being dried up by the fire and the power of the Heavenly Father's mouth. Beware of the wiles of the devil, the woman whose hands and snares and nets. The Lord said, as long as you please him, you shall escape. And all that witchcraft is going to be burned down and these holes are going to be burnt up. And any of these bitch-ass niggas that's into the divination or wickedness or, or witchcraft are going to be burnt up. So with that, just a quick lesson. I pray that it was edifying. All praises to Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. Death to two thirds of Israel, death to Esau, and shalom to the elect out there. And to them, Akim and the Akwaf that really believe, shalom.